Hello dear gamers, York Phil here and today we are back for the episode 10 of Tokyo Skuru Raifu. So I do apologize a little bit before we start this video for not uploading like every 3 to 4 days a playthrough of Tokyo Skuru Raifu. It's because I'm working on other projects in my life like getting the driver license which I will talk maybe in a short later on. And also I'm working in other stuff like my Minecraft server and also school. So yeah, I struggle to make uh, videos uh, as actively as possible. So the easiest video I can make now that will also get probably very popular are Barney error videos. So um, I will only be making Barney errors like every four days maybe. I'll try to make some more Barney errors and but also I will make uh, walkthroughs, don't worry. We will finish TSL, I promise and I keep my promises. Okay, so now too much talking. Let's get started with this 10th episode of Tokyo Skuru Raifu. Man, once again, Samurai Maiden was awesome today. The second episode of the Samurai Maiden anime aired today. This time, I was able to watch it in real time in the living room. When she was a little kid, despite being so cute, Saigu Chan was already showing her gallant samurai spirit. She was so cool. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Okay, I'm gonna go wash the dishes. See ya! Your filter, your filter. On today's episode, this line was cut. What do you think about that? Sakura opens up the original comics and points to a certain page. Oh, yeah, they cu did cut that, didn't they? Huh? I didn't notice. This is a pretty important scene, so it's too bad they cut it. I wanted to hear it out loud. Yes, I thought you would agree. Personally, rather than cut that part here, right here. This may be an appropriate part to cut, perhaps. What? You can't cut that. If you did, see, this other scene wouldn't make any sense. We have a fun debate about today's episode, arguing that about how it should or shouldn't have been handled. Alice, I hate to admit it, but this is difficult. I wonder if we amateur, another French word, are just thinking on a lower level. Yeah, it's true that the staff is pretty amazing. Even after cutting so much, it's still Samurai Maiden as a whole. Samurai Maiden is structured in long story arcs. No matter what, the anime will have problems with the length, so they need to cut lots of scenes from the original manga. Still, even knowing that, it's worthwhile to consider various ideas like this between ourselves. You don't talk to Karin and Ayoi about this stuff? Karin-san doesn't have an interest in the first place and Ayoi does read the manga, but she can't keep up with such, such deep conversation about it. Well, yeah, I guess that doesn't surprise me. I got a little too worked up, really. I thought because we were we have off on the weekends, we could take our time talking like this, but this weekend, I'm gonna do some sightseeing with Karin and Ayo in Tokyo, so it will take away some time from talking with Sakura. Oh, sorry, I have promised you too, sorry. No, it's fine. In return, let's make plans for the next weekend. Your field son, let's go have fun in Akihabara. Wow, Akihabara! But Sakura, is that okay with you? Sakura hides the fact that she's an otaku. On top of that, it seems like she has some health problems. 
Is it okay for her to force herself to go so far? You don't have to worry. Even if I'm used to tra even I am used to traveling to Akihabara. I will make sure you have a great time, your field son. Oh, I didn't mean it like that. But anyway, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. That's what we discussed last Monday. Okay, I think it's gonna be a date with Sakura next, maybe. And now, today's the big day. Reporting from Akiba. Well then, I've put together a strict schedule for us. Let's have a, a lot of fun today. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> You're looking so beautiful with the umbrella. As she says, as, as she says that, Sakura opens a small kasa, which means an umbrella in Japanese. Sakura, what are you, why? Sakura, what are you using a kasa for when it's sunny? Ah, that's smart. Oh yes, this is a parasol, <laughs> a sun umbrella. The sun is quite strong today, so I'm using it just in case. Parasol, an umbrella to cut the sunlight, huh? I guess they use those here. Wow, it suits her. That's what I was thinking um, as soon as I saw the casa. Sakura is really so high class, it makes my heart skip a beat. Um, really, don't push yourself too hard today. I'm already really happy just to have you show me around. I won't give up so easily. I want to make sure you fully experience the charm of Akihabara. Well, I guess if she says so, it's probably okay. Let's just have fun today. Oh my god! This is so cool! Oh, so many maids! When we get to the main street, there's a bunch of maids from maid cafes trying to attract customers. Akihabara is the metropolis of otaku culture in Japan. There's a full lineup of anime, manga, figure, and other specialty shops. You could probably call it the world's holy ground for otaku. They say that originally, the city was full of parts for manufacturing electronic hardware. Next, they started to sell computers and then video games and the city evolved into the current collection of all otaku culture that it is today. The spectacle on the front line is this field of maids. Maids in real life are female domestic servants. In otaku culture, the Victorian English style of maid fashion was picked up as a sort of fetish. So now it's at the point where many girls serve customers while dressed in maid cosplay at places called maid cafes. I thought the same thing about gothic lol to fashion, but it's probably because it originated in a faraway country that this kind of new juxtaposition can be born here. It's so fun, like a festival, don't you think? Oh yeah, didn't Karin say something like that? If Harajuku is normal, then Akihabara is abnormal. It's true that otaku culture could probably be considered ceremonial. Ceremonial? Ah, interesting. This term is used in Japanese folklore. That which isn't an everyday occurrence is considered to be like the sun, which is ceremonial and fulfills wisdom. On the other hand, the informal is that which every day and mundane and fulfills the basic needs for a living. Oh, hmm, hmm, I see. This conversation has gotten pretty hard to understand. The main cafe Nya Parlor is having our grand opening today. Meow, please come visit right away. Meow, oh, master, lady. Please take one. Meow. The girl in a maid outfit took something small out of her basket and handed it to Sakura. What's this? A uh, cut you chop maid headband? Cut cut you shop. It's the staple of a maid fashion. A lacy headband with frills. 
Sakura stares at the headband for a little bit and silently places it on her head. <laughs> I like the way she said "nya." <laughs> okay, let's just go to the Master, welcome to Akihabara. T today, I, your maid, will show you around Akihabara. Oh, oh, oh! What is this? Kawaii desu ne? This is pretty embarrassing. I have a newfound respect for the people who do this for a living. Despite her statement, she doesn't take off the headband. Maybe she likes it more than it seems. Okay, I think she's gonna become a maid just like Karina. <laughs> on the main street, there's electronic shops, anime shops, arcades, and more. On the, on the side of an anime shop, there's a huge, huge billboard for Samurai Maiden. The anime is getting so popular on TV. Everybody's so excited about Samurai Maiden. I'm so happy, but I don't know. I feel a little lonely too. Oh, I know what you mean. It feels like the masterpiece that only I knew is now suddenly a major hit. But if everyone comes to like Saigo-chan this way, then it's for the best. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, shall we go on? Sakura takes me into a building with many different stores inside it. We go up the escalator and first go up to a model store. Wow, so many figures. Figures of characters from manga and anime are on display in a glass case. They're all so well made. Cute, cool, sexy. <laughs> they show off each character's individual job. Oh my god. Oh my god. Your field said, look, it's a figure of Saigo chan. What? Where? Where? I push myself against the glass case that Sakura points at. Oh, it's really Saigu-chan. Saigu-chan's figure looks radiant. Her pose looks like she could spring into motion at any moment. The way her hair spreads, the texture and folds of her clothing, her flushed skin, and the small patterns on her traditional Japanese clothing, every detail is perfect. Everything's very high level and sold after one look. Oh. I want this. I wonder how much it costs. This figure, it's not the anime version, it's the manga version. You can't tell that? はい。アニメ版は漫画の最後ちゃんに比べて全体的に丸く可愛らしさを強調したラインになっています。一番わかりやすい違いは。Yes, if you compare the anime and manga version of Saiku-chan, the anime version is rounder and em emphasizes her cuteness. The most obvious difference, her eyelashes. Sakura takes out a memo and pad, memo pad and swiftly draws Saiku-chan's eyes and show me, shows me. Yeah, the design in the manga version has more finely detailed lines. Sakura, I can't believe you drew that without looking at anything. Anything. I like Samurai Maiden so much, I often copy the artwork. So you do you draw in your school notebooks? Oh, she really wants to hide the fact that she's an otaku or a weep like me. No, if I did that at school, I could be found out as an otaku, so if I draw anything, I erase it immediately. Hmm, what a waste. Anyway, this figure is a garage kit which requires assembly. It's probably a bit too difficult for someone with no experience. 
Ah, man, too bad. 人気が高いキットは後に一般向けフィギュアとして商品化されることもあるようですよ。Sometimes the popular kits are made into regular figures for public sale. Okay, I'll wait for that. Sakura, if it goes on sale after I go back into my country, let me know by email, okay? Next, we go to an anime shop. Yikes, Japanese BDs are really expensive. 確かに、海外で売られているボックスに比べると割高なのは否めませんね。True, I can't deny that they are relatively expensive compared to the box sets sold overseas. Japanese anime BDs sell for the pretty hefty price of about 8,000 yen or 80 US dollars per disc, which is two or three episodes each. When you consider that in North America, the same anime sells for a whole season of 12 episodes for about $40. It's a big difference. Still, to make up for that, the encoding rate is higher, so the picture quality is top notch, and there's lots of bonuses too. Ah, I want the BDs of Samurai Maiden. <laughs> BD が発売される頃にはもう帰国されている予定ではなかったでしたっけ But your field son, by the time the BD's go on sale, you'll be back in your country, won't you? Yeah, you're right. But I, when I get at least the first volume, I really want to read the first edition bonus as soon as possible. It's a brand new manga chapter by the original author. よろしければ、トマイルで受け取って、あなた宛に転送しましょうか If you'd like, I could have it sent to Tomoe Dormitory and then forward it to your mail address. Really? Thanks! I'll reserve it right away! I immediately asked the clerk to reserve a copy for me. To avoid any difficulties, I pay everything up front. My funds for enjoying myself in Japan have depleted a bit, but I won't regret it. y o u r f i e l d s i g n you're to learn Japanese through anime and manga, didn't you? Yeah, I did. After Sensei taught me the basics, that is, anime was really useful for practicing my listening skills. So, no. So, you know, you had a fan sub to m e e t n o d e s k a Well, for that, did you watch fan subs? Sakura whispers into my ear in a quiet voice. Whoa! Surprise attack. Her face is so close, my heart's racing. In other countries, fans translate anime that are aired in Japan and add their own subtitles and release them as fan subs. Well, they're doing it without permission, so when you're thinking about it from a legal standpoint, it's pretty shady. I guess Sakura was worried about that, so that's why she whispered. Well, lately there's lots of online streaming and officially licensed translations, so I think most people watch anime that way. If I remember right, Samurai Maiden had an official English version streamed the day after the Japanese air date. Oh, is that so? Yeah, but there are some anime that aren't officially translated, and also the encoding rate isn't that good. So it's not like fan subs don't exist anymore. I can understand the feeling of wanting to watch the anime you like in good quality as soon as possible. Yeah, that's it. I know it's not exactly an, an admirable. Thing to do, but it's the heart of a fan that makes us want to see it anyway. Next, we go to a don, Dojinshi shop that takes up an entire building. Wow, this is Dojinshi. Dojinshi, that's what they call fanzine publications that Japanese otaku make based on their favorite series. The world of Dojinshi is extremely broad. The largest event, event for selling Dojinshi in Japan is Comic Promenda, Promenade, which is Abbreviated as Komi Pro. It's held twice a year for three days in summer and winter and attracts over 600,000 visitors each time. For something that is, at heart, an amateur event, it's pretty amazing. Also, the cream of the crop of Dojin culture are also the source of many professional artists in Japan. Many commercial manga artists started as Dojin Shi creators. Th- this is all Samurai made in Dojin Shi? Yes, please take your time looking at it. As the Samurai Maiden anime has started airing, there's a special shelf dedicated to it on the floor. I take one book off the shelf. There's a full color illustration of Saigu chan on the cover. It's drawn in more of a shoujo manga style than the original. It's a thin book without many pages, yet it costs 700 yen, which is about $7, 7 dollars, 
it seems like a little pricey when I think about it. Still, I'm quickly pulled in by the charm of Doujinshi. The original comics of Samurai Maiden do have quite a bit of humor, but first and foremost, it's a historical drama. Yet, the Doujinshi have nothing to do with that. There's mushy romance, nonsense comedy, and heartwarming comic strips. They're all taking the subject of Samurai Maiden and doing whatever they want with it. I can feel the love they have for Samurai Maiden through their creations. It's like, I can just tell the creators of the books are undoubtedly my comrades. Your quilt did something catch your interest? Sakura, thank you for bringing me here. Hi! Yes. I think I'm gonna like Samurai Maiden even more now. I understand. That's how it feels when you find a good doujin sheet. It's very wonderful. I'll buy this for now. And this, and this, and this. Oh, maybe this one too. Please be careful not to spend too much money. Arm, she's right. If I spend too much, it's gonna be tough later on. But still, I can't buy these in my home country. For now, I'm gonna look at everything from start to finish before I decide. Ah, huh? Oh, your field son, that shelf is a bit farther. There's another samurai made in shelf. I randomly reach for one of those dojin sheep. Just as I'm about to, Sakura stops my hand. Your field son, let's leave, huh? Oh, but I still want to shop. What? That shop is not what you're looking for? Sakura's face is bright red as she runs away. Pulling me, she uses strength I couldn't imagine coming from her normally. Oh. Was that hentai? What the f***? So it was hentai? Oh no. No, 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 We're still high school students. If you want to talk about that, at least wait until you're grown up. Well, in real life, I'm 18 and a half right now, but I hate everything that is related to hentai, you know. I hate that, personally. Even once we get out to the main street, Sagwara doesn't stop moving. To escape, she pushes her way through the crowd, running at top speed. After running and running several hundred meters, Sakura finally stops. She stops in place and immediately crouches to the ground. Sakura? Sakura holds her chest and seems to be suffering. Oh no. It's okay. If I take my medicine, it will stop soon. Huh? What is going on? Sakura takes some medicine out of her pocket. Her hand shakes and she seems to be suffering. Can you take your medicine, okay? More importantly, I need a drink. Got it. I look around for somewhere to get a drink. Right nearby, I see a familiar sign. Wack Donald's, the burger shop that's known all over the world. Oh, the menu items in Japan aren't so different. This is for her to drink her medicine, so I better not get something with a strong flavor. I order an iced tea for Sakura. Sakura, here you go. Arigato gozaimasu. Sakura places the medicine in her mouth. She puts the straw to her lips and sips up the iced tea bit by bit. Okay, I hope she's not gonna suffer even more. We rest for about 10 minutes and Sakura's breathing is finally back to normal. Sakura, come in, Nasai. Yorkfield san, you have nothing to apologize for. I was too careless. It was an unforeseen development. No, I know that you have health issues. I shouldn't have. I should have been more careful. I'm really sorry. Sakura seems to be thinking about something. She begins checking something on her phone. Then your field son, if you're feeling guilty, would you mind going on a walk with me? I feel a little bit guilty in the game, myself. 
Oh, that cute music. That's kind of calmed me down. Sakura walks away from Akihabara. Her surroundings change into a business district. There's also no more otaku-ish people around. Yorkfield-san, what do you think about the existence of those kinds of things? She must mean that doujin she had looked at. Uh, I don't think that's right. Hmm, it's kind of awful, isn't it? Huh? Sakura looks kind of conflicted. To be honest, I quite dislike such works, just like me. However, I do think that the vast variety of otaku culture which includes such works is a splendid thing. Variety? Ah, in other words, free expression, okay. I see, I see. As we walk, Sa Sakura speaks slowly. It seems like she's getting her thoughts together. I have quite a serious illness. Yeah. That is also why I am in the care of Tomoe Dormitory. My parents are in the UK. Ah, oh. and I only and only I remain in Japan for my medical treatments. Hmm, I guess that's interesting. That's pretty lonely, huh? Hi. Oh. Yeah. No. Karin san to Aoi san. Sore ni, ima wa anata mo imasu kara. I have Karin-san and Ayoi-san, and also now you as well, Yorkville-san, so I'm not very lonely. I'm glad I could help. My symptoms have been intense since I was a child. I spent more than half of each year hospitalized. That's how I spent my childhood, huh? I couldn't make friends very well because of that. There wasn't anyone else my age at the hospital. Looking back now, I must have seemed like a gloomy child. I can't imagine that from how you are now. <laughs> Thank you. However, I had a dramatic encounter during that time. Can you guess what it was? Maybe manga? そうです。素敵な物語に私は一遍に虜になりました。夜が吹けるのも構わず、ベッドの中で読み吹けりました。Yes, I was instantly swept away by those lovely stories. I would keep reading in bed, even until late at night. Yeah, I know what you mean. When you find something you like, that's how it goes. Yeah, it's kind of the same for me, not gonna lie. I learned about good and bad, devotion and betrayal, all from manga. All from manga? The fact that I'm now acting human like this is thanks to manga. And thanks to Karin san and Ayui san, my two wonderful friends. I'm actually in a similar situation as Sakura mentioned. If I'm good like this, it is thanks to Miku, the other waifus, and everything related to, to Japan. Everything. If Miku wasn't here to save me, I would already, I would pretty much already be dead. I'm overwhelmed with Sakura's passion and I can't say a word. Okay, we have arrived. Oh my god, I 
I wasn't expecting Sakura to be so close to me. Oh God. She's so close. Sakura is taking me to a very big park. Families and couples are walking about. I also see a few street performers here and there. Huh? Sakura brings me, brings me before a bronze statue while looking at her phone's map. This is... Hi! Saigo-chan no model ninatta Saigo Takamori Ko no zao desu. Yes, this is a statue of Saigo Takamori, the person Saigo-chan is based on. Oh, this is the inspiration for Saigo-chan, but it's a big dude and a dog, so manly. It looks nothing like her. Hi. それを可愛い女の子にしちゃったサムライメイデンはある意味とても風けてます。多分腹を立てている人もたくさんいると思うんです。Yes, Samurai Maiden is being silly in a way by making him into a cute girl. There is likely many people who were also offended by it. But Samurai Maiden is so good. He teaches so many good lessons. That's all that's all because Saigo-chan is a girl. 私もそう思います。I think so also. Society calls otaku interest vulgar or indecent, but I think everything, including those elements, are... Sakura looks up at the statue of Saibu Takamori. Takamori. Samurai wa koto o osorenai. A samurai doesn't fear death. Saigura speaks Saigu-chan's catchphrase out loud. Despite being smaller than everyone else, she tries her best to not lose to anyone. I admire this about Saigu-chan. Sakura seems to be glowing as she speaks. I guess I lose. You really love Samurai Maiden a lot more than me. Do you think this is a matter of win and lose? I wonder it, but I don't feel frustrated to have lost to you. We're both comrades who like the same manga after all. That's it. But still, if you like Samurai Maiden that much, why won't you why don't you try and draw your own Dojinshi? Oh. Sakura's eyes open wide and she stiffens at my words. Huh? Did I say something wrong? I hadn't thought of that! Huh? Nani? A fan worker of Samurai Maiden. Oh, what an awe-inspiring, wonderful idea. Uh, um, Sakura? Sakura? I wonder if I should expand upon the third volume with some romance. However, a four panel comic strip also seems fun. Amazing! Oh, so amazing! Hey, Sakura! Yorkfield son, can I ask you something? Uh, yeah? Let's go back to Akihabara and, our, and buy art supplies. Oh, maybe we could buy them around here too. I'm going to research it right away. She starts searching on her cell phone with extreme intensity. I got the feeling I might have started something big here. Well, as long as you're having fun, Sakura. Sakura's eyes burn with excitement as she takes my hand. We're both comrades that would like the same manga after all. Um, yeah, of course. Somehow, I, j I can just tell that I'm gonna get roped into all of this. Sakura-chan. How'd your otaku date with your field go? Haha. <laughs> I had so, so, so much fun. Whoa! I never knew it was so wonderful to have a friend with a common hobby. He understands the difference between figure, phase, and the manga and anime versions. I didn't know that the amount of official English language broadcasts of anime are increasing. I'm learning so much from him. And I'm also learning so much from you, Sakura. A great creation can cross borders and find popularity all across the world. It's a nice feeling knowing something you like is also enjoyed by others. 
I'm going to draw a doujin shifu of Samurai Maiden. I can't wait to start working on it. Hold it right there. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I got too excited and I started rambling. No, that's okay. Sakura-chan, you type so fast. I've walked around Akihabara alone before, but I never thought it would be so much fun to hang out with a friend there. Oh, so your date with Yorkville was just so fun, huh? Yes, very much so. Nice. Um, it's no fun you don't get if you don't get embarrassed when I tease you. Oh, you were trying to tease me? You teased me a lot when I went out with Yorkfield, so I was trying to pay you back. I don't remember teasing you, cutting son. What an airhead. Oh, I'm sorry. Be nice, guys. Okay, I'm done filming here. Bedtime for me. Good night. Good night. Have a good night's sleep. Okay guys, mitekute arigato. We'll be back in maybe episode 11 uh, next week. Or maybe a Barney error or any other video. Because remember in the beginning I told you that I'm gonna try to upload more Barney errors. Since they are very easy to edit and make. Um, but playthroughs, videos like playthroughs and reactions are a lot harder to edit for me. So yeah, we'll be back in the next video. Stay safe, take care of you, and remember, life is a game with many games to choose from. Peace, bye bye!